Alrighty, everyone. My favourite part. I just couldn't wait to start showing you all my uh, my figures and toys that I've collected of Resident Evil over the years. Uh, it's only going to be me, unfortunately, because my, my collection's a little bit bigger than Luke's. He only has about three, so what he's going to do when he you know, gets to it, he's just going to record himself showing them and then connect them to the... How do I even do it? Like the playlist of videos of our Resident Evil collection. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun. Oh, I just want to say, so the video you saw of us showing off the games, I said I've got to get a Resident Evil shirt. Finally got one. It's awesome. Chris and Jill, perfect. Alrighty, first up. Uh, I completely forgot I had this set. I, I think there's only three in it. But, uh, yeah, when Resident Evil 5 come out, got the uh, the Executioner Magini, the guy with the big axe. I really like the character. Just a shame his role was a little bit small. So, yeah, there he is. And Sheva. And I like it because she's got the sniper rifle, one of my favourites uh, in the uh, the game. And good old Chris Redfield. I, I mean, the figures don't look the best, but I quite like the way they've done them. It's sort of like a dirty, rough, you know, style. And it doesn't feel clean, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I do like that. And, oh, I should probably add, uh, the figures are a little, like, the, I got them sealed, but they're quite uh, aged. I was trying to peel off stickers at the time. I never knew. See, my mum has a trick to use a hairdryer or a blow dryer to use on the stickers and they peel off easily and I didn't do that at the time. So, yeah, the, the boxes are a little bit, you know, aged, but the figures inside are still good and, yeah, I just like collecting them and I never, never opened them. Alrighty, next up, uh, probably one of my favourite sets. The uh, 10th anniversary set. So we've got a... Uh, Jill Valentine series one and it's not the I know there was two variations of them being released I think there was just the normal box and then the release in the plastic but I'm not sure which one was rarer I just went with plastic because they were easier to display and uh yeah she's got a Beretta the taser first aid spray two grenades one flame grenade member of the stars alpha team position re security yeah yeah I think I got the whole set yeah alrighty let's move on to the next one uh, okay, I don't know how this happened. I've got two Chris Redfields, and I've actually got one displaying on my collectible stand. Why did I buy two? I can't even remember for the life of me. I think at the time, like I said, when I was getting into eBay, I was uh, getting these. Uh, I think... Oh, Series 2, that's what happened. So I got Series 2, but I didn't have Series 1, so what I was doing, trying to buy them... You know, when I could, and I bought Chris on his own, and then some guy had the whole set on auction, and that's what happened. So, yeah, got two. And then we've got the good old classic zombie. He's from the beginning cutscene, from the original and the remake. And then you also got the Cerberus. And I've also, oh, I should give him a dust. See, I'll put these away in chair boxes so they, you know, stay sealed and all that stuff. And I, yeah, I've actually got Cerberus displaying as well, but that looks different. Yeah, it's a different one. I think he must have been serious. I know what's happened. All right, we'll just get we'll get onto that one quick. So yeah, and last but not least, we got Hunk. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. I oh, I see because well, it doesn't explain why there was no Leon or because I thought you know Resident Evil ten years. Yeah, what's that? And uh, yeah, I don't know why he was included. He must have just been like a special sort of you know uh, added on. 2006, this is when these come out, jeez. Okay, the Severus that I've got from Series 2 with the Crimson Head. So what I've liked is, so the zombie original state, then you've taken him down, now he's become uh, the uh, the Crimson Head, and the dog has also changed a little bit. So, yeah, I didn't notice that. I didn't even realise. So when did this one? 2007, a year later. Oh, I wonder if there was a Series 3. I think there was, actually. Yeah, Resident Evil 4? I think so. And like the uh, the Resident Evil 5, I just like the way they look. I mean, I don't like really clean figures, if you know what I mean. I sort of like a sort of rough. So it gives them a bit of character, if you know what I mean. There's two new statues out or figures of uh, Chris and Jill, and I just don't like the expression on them. Jill just looks too fake, if you know what I mean. I mean, all right, I'll sh bring back the other one. Alright, so Jill has got sort of a blank expression, but you can you can kind of see the resemblance that it's her. Whereas the one recently just come out, it just looks too clean, 
if you know what I mean. Whereas this one looks really cool. Okay, back on the series two, uh, we've got the lab zombie with a crow. I don't claim it. I think this was a special uh, figure. I wasn't. I read somewhere that it says, uh, you know, hard to find or something like that. Like it wasn't released in the set. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, I almost missed him and I got him in the end. Alrighty, now you're gonna start to see what I mean. You know, not cl like clean, sort of dirty and that stuff. Check out the liquor. Look how cool that looks. It just looks. It doesn't look fresh. Like he's aged, decayed, and his skin almost like his muscles look like leather. You know, all that kind of stuff. So that's why what I was trying to get at. It's not fresh. And yeah, it looks it looks really cool. Probably you know, favorite in the. I'm like they're all my favorite. I can't pick. And I yeah, even got the blood splatter and all that stuff. I don't think there's anything else with him. Nah. Next up, one of my favorite. B.O.W.'s in Resident Evil, a good old Hunter. Now I am spewing because I bought another set and I opened them and displayed them, but I think I accidentally got, I had the Licker, Hunter, I still got the Tyrant and the Cerberus, but I, I feel like I got rid of them by mistake. I put them in a box that weren't supposed, because we were doing a tip run and I'm spewing, but uh, I still got him sealed. But if I could get another one just to put on my shelf, it'd be really cool. Yeah, the hunter, just so menacing. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, you've probably seen him when I did videos over there. The good old tyrant, my favorite tyrant or super BOW boss in Resident Evil. Just when you first see him and it's like, oh my God, you thought we had, you know, BOWs that were tough before, now you got the tyrant. <laughs> so yeah, and that's the last of their the 10th anniversary. I don't think there's any more in the set. I think it was series one and two, and then I believe Resident Evil 4 had a set as well, but I haven't got that one. I just kept to the, you know, the originals. Alrighty, everyone. Now we're gonna start going back, God, when the, you know, Resident Evil first released. They released this toy line of Resident Evil figures. Now these were the first, I bought the 10th anniversary, and then I was really gunning for this set to try and get them all. I don't think I have, but I think I've got the majority of them. I'm not too sure, but what I like is just, you know, it, you look at the original Resident Evil quite cheesy in that, but the figures look real. I mean, they don't look scary. They just look like cool action toys, which if I had seen them in the shop when I was a kid, you know, I would have got them, but we got them now. And I think the spider opens up. The rocket launcher shoots rocket projectile and the hit web spinner's head to activate spider attack. So yeah, uh, I was really happy to get this set. You know, not the best looking figures, but it, they just, you know, they look fun. You know, I was really happy to get them. Uh, and you're also going to see what I mean, you know, the boxes are really wear and tear, but that's what to expect when, you know, these come out in what, 1996? Where is it? Where is it? 1998, sorry. So two years after the original Resident Evil. And I think that's why, because there's Resident Evil 2 as well. All right, everyone, probably the only time Oh, if I can even think now, you're ever going to see Forrest as a figure or a toy. There you go. Look, they see him all chewed up and he comes back as a zombie. And I believe that's the zombie that you... Yeah, the... so you got the pale zombie and then you got the sort of rotten flesh zombie. And so, yeah, really cool. So Forrest, if you lay him on the floor, he comes up. And zombies can be pulled apart, revealing his bones. So, imagine buying that for your kid for Christmas. He'd probably have nightmares. Alrighty, next up, Chris Redford and Cerberus. And I think he gets a, yeah, he gets a flamethrower. It looks like a baton and a cult python. Now, let's have a look. A rocket launcher. Doesn't look like a rocket launcher. It's a flamethrower. Yeah, they messed up. That's the flamethrower, silly guys. So if you shoot the dog, he falls to bits. So, oh, I should have been showing the back. Sorry about that. Okay, then we got the the tyrant again. Let's get a good look at that. And get a look at the back. So what's his heart pumping action? So his heart obviously pumps. Press button on tyrant's back to activate blood pumping heart. Pull back claw, claw arm and release to activate slash attack. <laughs> yeah, really cool. 
I'm going to be saying it a lot. It, you guys don't realize how excited I am right now just to show my collection. I, got, I think I've actually got the full set. So this is the last one. The Hunter and Chimera. Really intimidating. I would love to have seen these two duke it out in the game. Oh, here. We'll show the back. So... I also just want to say, I just love the, you know, the character art on the bottom. When Hunter hits the center of chest, Kamara loses its head. So it's like when the Hunter does his slash attack and your head falls off. Pull back right arm, then release for slash attack action. Oh, they just don't make toys like this anymore. It's really awesome. It takes me back to my childhood when I was, you know, just, it doesn't matter what sort of figure I had, they were all on the same team. Uh, yeah, that's it for Resident Evil 1. Alrighty, time for some Resident Evil 2, love. All those huge fans out there, you're going to love this bit. Alright, so the same uh, guys, Toy Biz, done Resident Evil 2 as well. This is like, you know, 1998, so they released them all. There we've got Claire and Police Cop Zombie. So there you go. I've actually got two of these. I don't, I, I think the same situation, I bought a single, and then some guy put them on auction, the whole set. So... Yeah, she gets a signature crossbow, the uh, the revolver, which I believe you can only unlock if you do a, you know, you do the bread uh, Easter egg. It's been a while since I've played it. Yeah, it's a bit of wear and tear, that one. Itchy Tasty, Resident Evil novels from... Pop oh, those are the books! I remember, yeah, 99, I, was, I said in a video somewhere that the books come out originally in 98 or something, and then they reprinted them. Those are the original covers. So, yeah, alrighty. That's clear, on to the next one. Okay, we've got a good selection in this one. You got Hunk, a zombie, and he's got the. That looks like an M870 from original Resident Evil. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, and you also got a crow. I didn't even notice the crow there. Haha, <laughs> cool. And then you got the back. So, what did they do? Push lever on Hunk's back to activate gun firing action. Zombie can be pulled apart, revealing his bones. <laughs> I want a Resident Evil Lego game. Please. Oh, there's my other Claire one. That's pretty beat up, that one. Uh, next up, this one's very beat up, especially on the bottom, but uh, the figures, uh, the toys inside are still pretty good. And I will say that this, so I showed off the liquor in the 10th anniversary. This one looks really cool. So you got Leon, and just how cool that look, wow, I started. Just look how cool that liquor looks. Just whoever designed it, really well done. Uh, and then there's the back. If I had a spare, I'd open it and just display it. Uh, so what does... So he gets a shotgun and he's, uh, he's um, you know, the gun with the parts. Press lever on back, head, arm, line up, shoot. Wind up, tug and mouth of liquor. Press button on back to activate attack. Oh, so they're not just toys, they've actually got actions, which is really cool. But yeah, you can see, bottom of that one, whoo! Messed up. As like I said, they, I mean, these come out 20 years ago, so it's going to happen. Oh, just looking at this one, I didn't realise that it was actually cotton. So we've got Ada and the plant, but her dress is proper, you know, cotton material. It's not like a plastic. I never noticed that. That's actually really neat. That's, yeah, never noticed. Oh, and then there's the back. So what do you do? Push down on oh, I poison I or just Ivy. I push down on Ivy's back to open petals. Release petals will close. Dress and gun accessory are removable. Alrighty, I saved these three for last because these are probably the the more detailed ones that especially you fans, you're probably gonna love these ones. So we got William Birkin and Sherry, but just look at the Birkin's design. Someone really did an amazing job on it. I don't think there's a variation with him as his normal human. You know, when he's first starting off, this is like, I think this is his second when you're on the, you know, that, that tram, if I remember. And, uh, yeah, you get Sherry, which is good. Uh, so what? To move eye... So the eyeball actually moves. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought, you know, all the RE2 fans out there would love these ones. Alrighty, this one is a... It's just one, but you can alternate. Mr. X. You can do him as his, you know, form with just the jacket and then the final fight form, which was really awesome of them to have done to put 
both of his variations on. And yeah, like Ada, her, his jacket's, uh, you know, it can be removed. They did a lot of good details on this one. And yeah, you can put on the, you know, when his head transforms, the claw. Removable belt, biomembrane, leather coat, clip-on boots, giant arms, clip-on giant arms, over arms. Oh yeah, and then there's the back. So yeah, they really thought well with the Mixer X. You know, they didn't cheap out and do a, a second one. Alrighty, last one I have for this set, and I think I have them all, I'm not too sure. If I don't, someone let me know so I can finish the set. <laughs> uh, just like Mr. X, they did, uh, they really went out of their way for this one to make sure that you, you know, you got both. So this is Birkin with the uh, the dog form as well. It's almost like a transformer. So you, you can have him as his normal sort of final stage, but then if you mess around with him, you can turn him into that, that uh, not the final, uh, G4. Yeah, that's the one. So, yeah. We'll give you another look at that one. Really awesome detail again. I think what they... See, the, the human characters are a little bit wonky. But the monsters just look amazing. They're really awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's the last one, I believe. That's the whole set. But, like I said, if someone does know that I haven't, let me know urgently so I can find it quick before the prices hike up even more. Okay, that's it for my uh, main figure collection. I've actually got a few other pieces as well, so what I'm going to do... Uh, so me and Luke were going to keep it separate, so video games, uh, figures, and... What would I call the... Uh, miscellaneous, maybe? Just a few little things. I mean, I wouldn't mind showing off my, you know, my art prints that I stand in front of that... You know, when I do my vlogs and all that stuff. And I've uh, got a few additional figures that I just recently got. I didn't want to put them in this video, I thought I'll do it. You know, a, a new added to the collection, if you know what I mean. And, yeah. So I'll see you in a minute with the, the next part.